So as most of you guys have already seen, Offworld Industries have now fully acquired Postscriptum and will be collaborating alongside Mercury Arts to bring what was once known as a completely dead game back from the brink of extinction. For those who didn't know, Mercury Arts, who are based not too far from myself down in Blackpool, have been working on Postscriptum for quite a while and have became an official third party partner in 2021 with their first third party content, Malim, released in January of 2022. This proved highly popular with the community and ended up with Periscope Games purchasing the first phase of the chapter with an additional expression of interest in the follow on phases of the project, already under development by Mercury Arts. Pretty similar with how Offworld Industries purchased the Aussie mod on Squad as an example. Only Periscope Games left Mercury high and dry when everyone got fired over Christmas and then failed to elaborate why. Now I'm going to talk about a few things in this video, but mainly it will be about how this benefits not only Postscriptum, but also Squad. As we've all seen, Offworld Industries have undergone quite a few changes and a bit of reshuffling over the past few years. But it cannot be denied that Squad has been going from strength to strength as each update passes. Their community management has also been the best it's ever been, actually engaging with their community, regularly updating everyone what's going on, regular playtests on various things, and a lot more behind the scenes that I can't really go into. Hell, I can actually message the community managers and get a response within a few hours, rather than three years. <laughs> you think I'm joking. If you look at what the devs have brought into Squad in the past two years, there has been five new factions with another one about to drop any minute, and not only that, Militia got a complete top to bottom overhaul, so you may as well class them as a new faction as well. There were three new maps and a complete overhaul of Manikugan. Again, another new map on the way as well, various vehicles were added to various factions, and let's not forget the massive infantry combat overhaul. At one point, Offworld Industries was practically dropping an update for Squad once a month on the dot, so it's safe to say that OWI of new is really pushing things in a productive and positive direction. Especially as with OWI of old, you'd be lucky to get one new faction a year, and if anything was broken, you'd be waiting another year for that to get fixed. So it's safe to say that OWI is in a good place right now. Now I know Squad isn't the most optimised game in the world, but it is getting there, and it is a hell of a lot better than it used to be. But those who do remember how Postscriptum was, will remember that it was considerably worse. Like, really bad. Well, without leaking things too much, within the Squad Partner Discord, one of the developers mentioned that as Postscriptum is a fork of Squad, a lot of the optimizations done for Squad should carry over, so it's worth a shot. And they're right, a whole load of something is going to be better off than a load of nothing. And if this is where OWI is going to be starting off their monumental task of resurrecting this game alongside Mercury Arts, this potentially leaves the creative side in Mercury's hands, which would be a great move, especially as they've been working hard on Postscriptum for a very long time, only to have been let down by the previous team lead at Periscope. Naturally, when it comes to bringing the game forwards, it's obvious that there is a mammoth task ahead. But with OWI having started the process to legally acquire Postscriptum literally weeks after their old dev team was fired, it's clear that they have set themselves up ready for this task and have already been working ahead of time ready for this moment. So don't worry if you think that this means resources and members are going to be taken away from squad, because I highly doubt that's the case. Now don't go expecting Postscriptum to immediately be surpassing Hell Let Loose. Realistically, if they wanted to do that, they would have to put Postscriptum on console. But when you look at the shortcomings and the problems Hell at Loose has had recently, Postscriptum will eventually be the perfect alternative or even replacement, especially if you want something a little more in depth and certainly of a larger scale. And I mean, hell, if you fancy the gamble and want to invest early, Postscriptum is 50% off right now on Steam. So Postscriptum now has the stability it needs it has the team and development prowess in both Offworld and Mercury, and naturally, along with this, will have the funding, support, and soon the community, as I expect a lot of the old player base will start to trickle back in, especially as their first major update will be bringing the Greeks, along with the new map, Rithymno. This will certainly grab the attention of not only old existing players, but with some good marketing, could even get a good influx of new players into the game. Even simple things like content creators such as myself, my dog, Operator Drewski, Devil Dog, and many others can help jumpstart this old flame back into life. But what does all of this mean for Squad? Well, to start with, 
Postscriptum was pretty well known for its fantastic armor gameplay, which saw it go from squad's health bar based World of Tank style gameplay to module hitbox based, much more akin to War Thunder style. To complement this, there was also a fantastic armor only game mode, which was extremely intense and really pushed the limits of your squad and your ability to run a vehicle together. Hell, even the driver just being able to poke their head out of the hatch for a better view whilst driving. You know, things like this could be of huge interest. When OWI pull the trigger and give us a vehicle overhaul, even the fact that tanks in postscriptum don't get stuck on a picket fence will be worth bringing into squad. But not only this, optimizations can be learned and brought forward from both sides. There's a possibility for new game modes and hell, maybe even bring in the ability to manually bolt your rifle when you want rather than immediately which means you can actually see if you've hit your target or not. End of the day, this is a huge win for everybody here. And whilst it is very early days, I'm looking forward to getting back into Postscriptum. And I'm certainly excited to start making content for it alongside my squad content. All we can hope for now is could Offworld acquire Burning Lance? Thank you all for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in my next video. Good night.